afternoon baseball here on the show ought to be a good one here between the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago White Sox it's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Lucas Giolito the California born right hander is on the mound Dan please what's the word on him. Well what comes with Lucas Giolito a big arm 95 to 100 miles an hour hard breaking slider one of the issues Giolito has had is not a lot of swings and misses so we'll be able to watch him early on to see if he brings some swings and misses and if he does it should be a powerful outing for Giolito. Stepping into the box Javier Baez it's been a big season for him in the power department closing in on a home run title and what's amazing about this Dan you see guys get hot and when they get hot it's usually base hits and doubles not the case with this monster he's driving everything he sees out of the ballpark absolute pitchers nightmare right now on point with the fastball you throw him a breaking ball it better be a good one because if you hang it he's going to bang it and now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Way. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man hey, steps to the plate and has a chance first. to drive in the that first run good. of the game. The white fielder right right standing in, Mike Yastrzemski, runner in scoring position with Sergeant. Scooped up. All right, come on, come on. In time, and the side is retired. Ready now for the White Sox. Luis Robert is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. To the left side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Digging in now, Luis Robert. He could really open now this lead up early if he can fielder. deliver here with the bases Louis. loaded. Robert. One down, one down. The one two. Short. Slide, slide, slide. One there. Out. On to first. Oh, Not it. in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second and the runner scores from third. Stepping in Javier Baez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe Early once a game, nice maybe Good. once a week. Make so he turn. certainly Find capitalized on it last time. Boy, there's another base hit, and this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving, d -Row. Both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers' meeting today. Good now plan right. at the plate. The right a lot field. of execution from the right. offensive side on the both sides. No, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Hey, come on, big guy. Need a strikeout. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit toward the right side. Yeah, Simmons round, round throw on to first ball. won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Now at the plate, Javier Baez. He singled his last time up. Javier Baez. Hey, get your pitch and drive it. Here comes the first pitch. Hit well towards the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. This guy came into today absolutely on fire and nothing has changed. He looks seriously hitterish at the dish right now. That's his third knock of the game. Digging in, Mike Yastrzemski. No back. hits to this right point. Fielder. Mike Yastrzemski. Right here. here now the 2-2. Two -two. That's lifted the other way out Come to on, left. Dig, dig. Go hard, go hard, and he'll get there hard. in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. 
Indians strand a couple. They're down five. It's seven to two. Leading off the inning, Javier Baez, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Got a way to square it up. Great I mean, job. obviously, this guy is built to play in the daytime. Four for four, you know he's seeing it good right now. These are the days that you remember for a long time. So striding forward now, Mike Yastrzemski. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. Ready with the 0-2. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Now batter. Throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. And again, a throw. Throw is up the line as it gets away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. You know, I think he tried to be even quicker with his pickoff throw over the first that time than the move he showed earlier. And when you do that, sometimes your feet and arm aren't in sync, and it causes you to throw it away just like that one. Here we go, guys. Let's go. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Cordero with a little do-it-yourself play, and there are two down. So stepping in, number 40. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Three runs, ten hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. At the plate, Domingo Santana. He's two for three and looking for more here. Domingo Santana. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Here's Jay Bruce now. So far, two for three in this one. Here we go. And oh, that oh, misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Wow, they went to the pen because they like the matchup. And what does he do? He walks the first guy he faces to bring in a run. So, so much for that strategy. Makes you wonder if they'll turn to him again next time in this situation. So it's first and second now. Nobody oh, out. And that the means that Nick base. Ahmed will be Nick. the next to bat. Ahmed. Oh, The 3 2 pitch. And this is on the ground is short. Get out, get out, get out. Throws get out, in come time, come on, come on. and that's out number one. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Javier Baez. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five hit performance here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nice trip, kid. Left center, base hit. Turn, and now it'll relay, rattle relay. up against the wall. Hernandez relay, relay. ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And the throw in gets away from him. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here. And those don't come along every day.
Into the box, Mike Yastrzemski, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Mike Yastrzemski. Got no one. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Right guy, now right batting, here. the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Three, three, three. Robert is there now, and he has it, two gone. At the plate, number 40. It now was back. a walk in his number last 40. trip. Hey, let's hold him right here. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. White Sox on top, eight to six. Deserves a few votes. That's 55 saves on the year. And I'll tell you, he's a rare talent. This one comes to a close today at an 8-6 final. The Chicago White Sox, with their 95th win, tops in the division. Lucas Giolito gets the double digits with his 10th win of the year. Mike Clevenger was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Aaron Bummer earns the save out of the bullpen, his 55th of the campaign. That total leads the league. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm